Hey, how's it going guys? I have a little showcasing unboxing for you. First, it is from Shanghai Mint. Actually, both of them are from Shanghai Mint. And uh, it comes in this red box. And let's see what do I have here first. Okay, this is the Panda Coin. Uh, this one, um, Waff Dog uh, introduced this to me, uh, saying that he was going to get a bunch of these, maybe like six of them or something, and get them graded, and uh, recommended that this could do well um, in the long run because uh, it's a very limited mintage. I think the something like a thousand coins each, and it started in 2013, and here it is. Lighting is a little dark, so I'm gonna turn on another light. Maybe that might make it a little better. So it comes in this box like this, and it has a COA. Got one 15 here, and it comes in this little plastic package. And as you can see, this one, you know, it uses the whole entire coin. There's no, uh, I guess, what you call rim. It's got two pandas with the bamboo in the background. Uh, very nicely done. It looks a lot better with the naked eye. And they came out with this coin in 2013. And they have a one ounce version, which is this one. And a two ounce version, which is a lot more money. And uh, very, very nicely done. I think it's much better than the, uh, obviously, the bullion panda coins that the mint produces. Uh, this Shanghai Mint is different, it's a private mint, and here is what makes it really cool. The Great Wall of China, and when I focus on this, it almost starts to look real. Very realistic design of the uh, Great Wall of China here, and to get this kind of... Uh, realness on a coin, on the back of a coin, is quite impressive. Right, it's uh, the second China Panda Coin Collection Expo. And I think the guy, YouTuber, his name is Sam A or Sam something. He has a whole bunch of these from the 2013 year. And, um, you know, he showed it to us. It was like a very short video, but I was impressed. Um... But what I heard about the 2013, there's some kind of minting error or minting process. Uh, and it had like white uh, spots or blemishes around the coin. So that is the panda coin. Okay. Put this one back. It's a nice wooden case. So the second coin I have here, I'm not even sure how to uh, pronounce this or call this. Uh, Mount M A or M E A? I don't know. M A uh, commemorative silver coin is a Buddhist mountain of some kind. And let's take a look at this one. I really like this coin too. It comes in the blue box, and the front just kind of opens, so I'm going to just take it out. Right. There. Voila. There's a COA here. I don't recall the mintage and stuff on this one, but, uh, you know, it's a, I think it's a thick, very thick coin. I know, Salivate, you like the thickness of coins. And I think this is one ounce. I don't know, it feels heavier than one ounce, but I have to double check on the ounce. Alright, so let's take a look at this temple design, which looks quite realistic here. I got the steps going upstairs to the temple, and you have more buildings in the back and the sides there. There's more buildings back there, and you got the trees. It's very nicely done.
so this one really looks 3D when you look at it with your real eyes, you know, your naked eyes. And like this part looks like it's popping out. I don't know if you can notice that in the video. Reeded edge. And this is the back. And this blemishes are probably on the case, not on the coin. So that is what I got here. And for those of you who have been watching the silver prices um, and the gold prices, uh, a lot of things happening right now because uh, I saw the price go down. Uh, I was talking to some of the guys in the hangout and boom, silver went down 20 cents or so. And gold is down to like 1220s. And I think the Fed today announced that they won't be raising interest rates anytime soon. And Scotland is trying to break off or not wanting to break off with England. I don't know exactly what the deal is over there, but something's going on over there. And United States, uh, I think they struck ISIS. Uh, some missile struck them. So a lot of things going on geopolitically, and it is causing the prices to go down, which more or less helps us, you know, buy more coins at a cheaper price. All right, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions about these coins, uh, let me know down below. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe as usual. And I will speak to you guys later.